Here we have stockbrokers.com. What is stockbrokers.com? Basically, it's an online broker review, as it says here. They do a broker review of all the different types of brokers and base them on search categories of commissions and fees, investment offerings, trading platform, options trading, active trading, research that they have, the customer service that they have, and mobile trading, investor education, new investors, order execution, banking, retirement services that they have, IRA or 401k accounts, cheap trading or penny stock trading, international trading. In other words, if you're looking for something with a commission or fee based type thing of information on what what company, what brokerage does best for that, you can look under that. If you're a new investor, you can look under those for the ones that are new investors, for example. If you're looking at new investors, for example, you might want to look into TD Meritrade, Option House. These are some of the reasons that they they have these. Basically, you have the fir first most important way to use is an easy to use website. Of course, if you're a new trader, obviously, you want to be able to use it as easily as possible. And then you have an a offering of educational content. You know, you, under, you can understand things, you can look up things, and anything you have a question on, you can have that educational advantage. So TD Ameritrade has a lot of stuff for educational things, has a lot of things for the new investor. And of course also this option house and trade, Scott Trader pretty good. He trades up fairly well. And of course you go down further, you say, okay, Fidelity Investment is pretty good for that. One thing on Fidelity Investment where it says exclusive 300 commission free trades in two years to use them. That sounds like a lot. But if you think about it, you break it down for a minute. That's 300 commission free trades in two years. Two years is 730 days. Okay, so that means that you have to make two trades a week to use that 300 commissions in two years. Just a thought there. And of course they'll offer special offers and bonuses and so forth to try to get you to use their service of course. If you're a more active trader they do even more because active traders obviously make them a lot of money. The more that you trade the more money that they make from commissions and fees and so forth. And once in a while like for example with Lightspeed, Lightspeed is more of a active trader platform you don't really want to use it if you're a new investor. Lightspeed offers, if you ride it to a certain, like the New York Stock Exchange for example, they'll give them a discount of so much per, like a tenth of a penny per trade, a thousand trades for a thousand people, that adds up to quite a bit. So of course they're willing to give you some advantages to get more people to use their service. But again, you have order execution, you have your forex trading, if you're into forex trading for currencies and so forth, you're going to do more international trading. If you're looking at the cheap trading, for example, let's go for that for a minute. Option trade is pretty good, or option house is pretty good, excuse me. Trade King and Option House are about the same. As far as the trade cost goes, they're $4.95 per trade. If you want to do options, it's a little more for Trade King than it is for the Option House. You have Capital One Investment and so forth. With Trade King, you get that special offer of trade commission free up to $1,000. In other words, if you use your $1,000, you get free commissions. If you want to learn more, you can click on that at this website, stockbroker.com. It's reviews of the cheap traders, or rather, cheap trading. Cheap traders is another thing. <laughs> When choosing an online broker for cheap trading, the cost of placing trades is naturally the most important factor. You know, like I said, you know, the more that you pay, the, le the more that they make, the less that you have to trade with. But you also want to consider what they give you in terms of education and so forth, and how easy it is to use their trade. So you go through stockbroker.com. And these are some of the, you can compare the brokers and so forth and see what they have. If you want to compare the different types of brokers, you can look at Capital One or Trade King, Option House, all of these things here.
I want to look at what they actually have. Their overall ranking for Option House is pretty good, so it's Trade King. Yeah, the commissions and the fees and all of those things, the research that they have. If you're really into research, Capital One Investment has pretty good research. Ease of use and education. Education is more for for Trade King, basically. They have more educational advantages over the others. As you can see here, it's if you want to do more banking and so forth, you know, looking at Capital One, of course. You just go through this different one, and you can compare them. You can do a calculator with that, or a screener of different options. So, if you go through this website, you can look at what you're looking for in terms of the type of brokerage that you want to use. If you're a first-time broker, if you're looking for a discount broker, and so forth. You can get some information about them, about why they're good or why they're bad, or why they're not so good for such th such things that you want want to do. That'll give you a head start on what what broker you might want to use, based on your goals and your understanding. Of course, with your that'll fit in with your trading plan. Okay, well, see you in the next lecture, guys.